All right, so now you should have the idea of how density is being defined and the formula. Here are some exercise questions for you. You also need to apply some idea of unit conversion, maybe. Try to do this first uh, with the video pause and also the one down below on page 14. So pause the video, try it out yourself, and we'll explain the answers one by one. 2,000 years later. So for the first question, it's similar to the unit conversion I mentioned earlier. So what you can do is you can write down one meter cube, and then you want to find out how many cm cube are there, right? So what you have to do is think about one meter equal to how many cm. So that is 100 cm for sure, for just meter without the cube. But now you actually have the cube. So what you have to do is actually doing this. So 100 cm bracket cube. And that is to say that should equal to 10 to the power of 6, right? Yeah, uh, 6, 0 cm cube in this case. So that is the number you need. For number 2, actually it's question 3. Uh, it's asking you how many ml are there in 1 meter cube. In fact, if you try to Google to double check, 1 mil, 1 ml equal to 1 cm cube. Okay, so that obviously means that the answer will also be of the same, num same number, 10 to the power of 6. And I guess you may say, hey, uh, why do we have to be so confusing? Why don't we just keep it consistent? Uh, either we use ml or we use cm cube. And we do, all right? We actually don't like ML in science. So if you uh, heard about, again, the word called SI unit, which is, uh, you can take it as like the standard unit or metric system we use in science, we would accept CM cube for volume, but we would never, and we shouldn't, uh, be using ML. And this should apply in your experiment, especially something called the paper six in the future in IGCSC. So, well, I guess just from now on, uh, just go for CM cube always instead of ML. For question 5A uh, is again the unit conversion. So one thing that you want to do is to find out how kg meter cube can be converted to gram per CM cube. So uh, using the technique that I teach you earlier, so what you can do is uh, you can think of one kg, one meter cube. Later on, you can multiply to that, like whatever number you like later on. Okay, you can, I can write it here. You can do it later on. But the most important thing is how one kg and one meter cube can convert to gram and cm cube. Obviously, the answer is 1000 here. And for one meter cube, we already did it. That is 10 to the power of six. So at the end, that means 2700 kg per meter cube, which is the question itself, should equal to 10. This is three and this is six, so the final answer is 10 to the power of negative three. Uh, but then there are two zero here. So maybe we can do, actually we can do simply 2.7. So 2.7 gram per cm cube. Okay, and that is the density in this unit for aluminum. So using this uh, value of density, then you should be able to find uh, when the volume is 20 cm cube. So uh, the first thing that I would like to do, again, I try to pick up the habit, like what I do, I will always recommend you to write down the equation. No matter you think it is simple or difficult, write down the general equation first. So this is a one. And the next thing, once you write down the equation, would be simple because I uh, just put down the number for density, which is 2.7. And for the mass, it is uh, the unknown. If you see unknown, just leave it as the symbol. And for V, you know it is 20 cm cube. One thing you have to do, however, is to double check whether the unit would match. So here is cm cube, and here it was cm cube also. So we are all happy with that. And your answer that you find for M will obviously be in the unit of gram in this case. So by calculating this with your calculator, then, or well actually you probably don't need, but then uh, I will just say use it because why not?
right, you are eligible, you are entitled to use it. So 54 gram will be the answer. Similarly, for part C, okay, I hope I would, uh, actually I, I won't have space, but never mind. I will do the same thing. All right, I'll write, maybe I'll use a thinner color. So then rho, m over v, and then once again, the density is 2.7, but this time you know about the mass, 27, and you want to find the volume. So then obviously, the volume would be 10, and the unit will be in cm cube. Of course, if you somehow want to use the ratio from the answers in part B, I guess it's fine as well. But here, it probably is just a more uh, straightforward way uh, or no bring approach to do it, which actually I like that because it's error free. For question seven, it's asking you the mass of the air in the room measuring in the dimension of five times two times three meter cube. So um, no matter how the questions look like, we just do the same way. So allow me to use a tiny space here. So rho equal to m over v once again, recall the equation. I know that's the only equation we talk about try to get a habit to write it down. So the density is something that is not provided, but then we really want to find the mass. And for volume, obviously, it's just 5 times 2 times 3. I'll, I'll write the raw data, so don't get to be too quick that you write down. I know it is 30, but then I would recommend you to put down the raw number first. So people would get to know where you get uh, the number 30. And so obviously for the density, we would have to find our God of Internet, Google. All right, so the reference value of density of air is 1.225 kg per meter cube. But then actually it's fine because the volume that we do is meter cube also. So we can actually substitute this in 1.225, right? Yeah, 5. And so we can find the answer mass in the unit of kg okay so this is something that you have to pay attention when you try to do calculation in physics the units are very important if you ever missed out any unit then your answer will simply be treated as wrong answer because when you say uh, you, for example if you put down 2 for a certain length I can interpret it as 2 meter, 2 cm, 2 km, whatever I like. And that means you are kind of giving us multiple answers. So that is obviously not acceptable. Because just like in MC, you can't just say I chose A, B, C, D and expect me to give you a, a, a score, right? You can't do that. So you have to make it precise and also present it well. Please allow me to clean my screen for you know writing down more stuff. So for question nine, you want to find the mass of the lead having the same volume as that much, that many kg of petrol. So um, obviously, you need to find the density again uh, because we are learning about density. So very likely it's very useful. So when you have two of the same kind of physical property in the equation, um, I'm now teaching you not just density, but also presentation, by the way. You can't just put down rho and rho, right, in the same equation when they are actually different. So what you can do, like uh, if you recall what we do in Titanic, that challenging question in the class, uh, then we can use rho let, and how about we are lazy, right? So just put down uh, rho L for let, and rho P, for petrol. So I guess uh, we have to find out the reference value from Google again. So the number you find for lead density should be 11.34 gram per cm cube. Um, I put down here and just in case we need to use kg meter cube then actually from our previous example you know it has a difference of 1000 so 11340 gram, actually not gram, kg per meter cube. Or, well, you can also follow this one, 1134 to kg per meter cube also. Both are fine. 
However, for petrol, it has a range instead, so it's not a fixed value because uh, it can get disturbed or affected by temperature quite a lot. So that's why there's a range. But then I guess we can simply take maybe in this website, uh, we can do heavy fuel oil with 800 to 1000. So I guess it's about 900 kg per meter cube. So let's put down 900 kg per meter cube here. I believe the next steps here will be the hardest step in this page, but that is actually very simple. <laughs> One equation that you use, of course, would be rho equals to m over v, which is again the definition of density. But then here you can see that it involves two different kinds of material, petrol and lead once again. And another hint from the question is they are of the same volume. So the best way of expressing this by mathematics is using VL lead equal to V petrol. Okay, so we will start with something that is given from the question. Then the next question is what would that V could be when you try to relate it to its density. So if you look at this equation again, what you can do is you can rearrange V to be the main term. So that will be V equals to rho times M. And so in this case, you can plug this back to the equation, so simple algebra. Then you have rho M, rho M on the same side. However, this is a terrible example of how you can present your um, variables. You should always add the subscript, which is the letter at the bottom, to indicate these two are the lead, these two is referring to the petrol. So that the next thing that we would need to do is just to plug in the things that we know probably, because if you try to check this, uh, we can actually check whether or not we know each of them. So here I'll put a tick if we know it, for rho of lead, of course we know, actually we know both of density, and then for 1600 is the mass of petrol, and we just have to find out this, okay? Of course, in the exam or in the quiz setting, uh, you probably should not do like a tick or a circle like this, but this is one way of helping you to find out whether you have enough information now, like I said in the uh, video not long ago. So for now, we can start uh, doing the last step and that is just substituting. So 1, 1, 3, 4, 0. And by the way, when you substitute it for both density, you have to make sure that they are of the same unit. It doesn't really matter that it is kg per meter cube or gram per cm cube. You can even do a very strange unit that is a kg per CM, you can mix and match if you like to, it doesn't really matter as long as the number is correct and both sides of the equation are having the same unit because in this case, then you can cancel them out. So anyway, uh, we will have 11340 here and 900 here for the density. ML is unknown and for MP, which is the mass would be 16. 0, 0 kg. So that is to say your answer in ml, like the lead mass, will also be in the unit of kg also. So the next thing that you have to do is just use your calculator. Uh, feel free to abuse the privilege of using calculator. In fact, uh, you should get a better relationship with your calculator, learn how to press somehow faster and get to know hopefully almost every single key on your calculator that will be very useful in your final assessment anyway your answer should actually be 126.98 which i will run it up to three sec figure i think so uh 127 kg then okay so that would be the amount of lead uh you will have if it is of the same volume of that much of petrol. By the way, lead is one of the really dense uh, substance that we have on, on Earth we find. Okay, so the next question here is a sample of past paper. So whenever you see this kind of style, you know, the fonts, 
style, the font size, etc. Uh, you should start to identify these are the past paper. But anyway, I just want to show you how a past paper question would look like. So here is set, uh, there are two identical blocks of cheese on the set scale and the mass will be 240 and the volume will be this. So let me show you a wrong example. So wrong example could be uh, you just simply think of uh, finding out the density by using the equation and you just substitute it in 240 2 times 5 times 10 well you can put 0 0.0 as well and then you just find out the answer so I hope you didn't do like what I'm doing right now and hopefully you know the issue uh, that will be 2.4 and obviously cause this is gram this is meter cube no cm cube so the answer that you may choose will be D but it is a mistake of course I want to show you um, what the mistake could be so that hopefully you can learn even more so the correct way of doing it is actually seeing these is saying two identical blocks so sometimes it's to be honest, I don't know why they like to do it in IGCNC, but just really sometimes you have to look at the the word simply, like to know how many are there. And then here you can see the word each. Okay, so the volume of the cheese altogether uh, should be double because for the mass is a combined mass. So you can't just use one volume with the combined mass to divide all right it doesn't make sense at all you have to be fair if you have two blocks then you use both of their mass and both of their volume you can't do do it like this just like when you calculate something called the uh, BMI body mass index I think right the one that check whether you are fat or too thin like overweight or underweight uh, what I, guess, I think what you do is you use the mass divide the height a meter square and then you can some sort of finding out a uh, index that is somewhere around like 16 to 22 or something like that all right if you're within this range then you are kind of healthy when you substitute this in of course you'll be using your own mass and your own height in again in meter and then you just substitute in and calculate the index no one on earth will ever using maybe your own mass and my height to calculate that would well yeah you can calculate something like you can calculate a number but then that would be meaningless so uh, when you apply a certain equation you really have to think whether the objects that you're talking about should be the same one when you apply it to that equation so anyway here you just have to times 2 for the volume times 2 here so obviously uh, the final answer should be divided by 2 further that is 1.2 so the answer is actually C instead <laughs>